Welcome to this overview of how to use controllers with the Clip Launcher in Waveform. If you haven't already watched it, check out parts one and two for an overview of the playback and recording features. A controller provides greater control over your performance. It will also allow you to easily start and stop multiple clips at the same time, something that would be very difficult to do with only a mouse. In addition, you can quickly switch between launching clips, controlling parameters, playing keyboard or playing drums. Many controllers from the Akai APC, Novation Launchpad and Novation Launch Key product lines are fully supported with zero configuration required. Other controllers can be manually set up using the custom control surface feature. Once you have connected your controller, navigate to the MIDI device settings page. If your device is not listed, click the refresh MIDI device list button then ensure all inputs and outputs are enabled. Then navigate to the Control Surfaces settings page and find the name of your controller. If it was automatically configured, the name will appear in white. If not, select the device and assign the MIDI inputs and outputs. Most controllers have two pairs of MIDI ports. Select the ports named DAW, in control, or two. Optionally, you can select a highlight color for the controlled tracks and controlled clips. Controller support is completely customizable, and if you know JavaScript, you can click the Reveal Script button and edit the code that interfaces with the controller. Full documentation can be found in example.js. For this demo, I'm starting with a Novation Launchpad X. After opening an edit, the controller should default to session mode and all of the pads that control clips will light up with the corresponding clip color. Moving around the clip launcher can be accomplished with the bank up, down, left, right buttons. The buttons along the right edge of the controller will trigger scenes. Pressing a color pad will start a clip playing, while pressing an unlit pad will stop all clips on that track playing. If the track is armed for recording, pressing an unlit pad will start recording into that slot. Most controllers can also be used as MIDI input devices. Pressing the note button at the top switches the pads to a piano style keyboard. And pressing the custom button switches to a drum grid. Additional custom layouts can be configured from your controller's bundled software. The controller can also be used to control other track parameters. With this controller, mixer mode can be activated by pressing the session button a second time. Other controllers may have a dedicated mixer button. When in mixer mode, the scene buttons now control the parameter being edited, which can be volume, pan, send level A, or send level B. The next four mixer modes replace the last row in session mode with dedicated stop buttons or buttons that toggle either mute, solo, or record arm. The Novation Launch Key line of keyboards provides a similar user interface, but with only two rows of pads. The pads can be used to launch clips or as stop mute and solo buttons. While the rotary encoders can be used to control plug-in parameters, volume, pan, send levels, or MIDI CC. Generic MIDI pad controllers can also be used for launching clips. In the control surface settings, select Create New Custom Control Surface. Give it a name and select OK. 
Then you'll need to assign the MIDI ports. Select the number of channels and then edit control mappings. Thanks for watching.